Welcome to Faith on Film with Isaac Hernandez and Holly McClure. Keeping you informed on faith and family entertainment. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Holly, do you believe we're almost at Christmas? My favorite time of year. I hear the name Holly every day, 20, 30, 40, 50 times on the radio. So I love this time of year. I love Christmas and shopping for things with Holly in it. Another thing I love is you get to have the fun Christmas movies. And we've got a movie that was filmed at Confirmed Studios called Bringing Back Christmas. And it stars Mark Christopher Lawrence, who many of you have seen in T2, Mm K-Pax, and through the years, tons of other movies that you've recognized him from, and Lee Allen Baker. And you know her from Disney TV shows, Will and Grace, other movies, Family Camp, and Bringing Back Christmas. There are the stars. He plays the guy who's out of work and loses his job. And this angel comes to rescue him. And guess who the angel is? So you're going to love the interviews we have with them. They're going to give you insights, talk about their favorite scenes. You're going to want to see Bringing Back Christmas after you see the interviews today. So stay with us. It's going to be an amazing, fun, interesting show. Let's take a look at the trailer now. Just days before Christmas. Daniel Reese was ready to celebrate the season like Yay! never before. It sounds like I'm getting a promotion. Ah! Until you are amazing. We just don't have a job for you. I'm getting fired. A kick to the curb right before Christmas. Now you've been stalking me all afternoon. I'm an angel. That's what we do. In need of a little hope, he'll find heavenly help. If God really cared about me, he would take me out of this mess. And ultimately see the world in a whole new light. (laughs) You're going to come with me and I'm going to introduce you to people who have had some hard knocks too. Just take the hand, Danny. I'm not going to bite you. (laughs) Hello, Barnabas. Hello, Barnabas. Good day. (laughs) This guy with the camel. Look who's so important. Everyone has a camel nowadays. When are we going to get one? No, no, no. We're going to stick with the donkey. Let's cut to the chase. Your son, Joseph, is in love with our daughter, Mary. Mother God! The Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. And the plans he has for you, oh my goodness. Is this really what God wants? Joseph, oh, it's... I'm sorry, I need a moment. Just give me a sign. Rediscover faith as hope is reborn. Welcome to the Bethlehem Inn. How may I help you? Bringing back Christmas. You're supposed to be an angel for crying out loud. (laughs) Haven't you ever heard? It's all about the journey. Well, with us is the star of Bringing Back Christmas, and I love to have him on because I've actually talked to him before. We've known him for years. Mark Christopher Lawrence. Mark, you have been in everything from T2 to K-Pax to, like, I think you said five Christmas movies. I mean, I remember Christmas with the Cranks, a family camp that we've loved, Pursuit of Happiness. I mean, you have had quite the career in Hollywood, and so I feel like I've already talked to you and know you already. And Isaac, you too, right? Well, as a matter of fact, I, uh, I'm in a, in a series along with you. Now, I, I, of course, have a very, very small little part. I play the acting president, uh, but I'm, uh, I'm actually in that series with you. Now, we did tape that, my little segment, at Capernaum Studios, which kind of brings us to today, because this movie that we're going to ta- be talking about today, Bringing Back Christmas, a good chunk of it was taped there at Capernaum Studios, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the, the whole, uh, I think the first week that I worked was at Capernaum. So, Mark, did you when you heard you were going to be at Capernaum, this little studio, what what did you expect? And when you got there, was it better than you expected? Or I had never heard I had never <laughs> heard of Capernaum, and uh, when I got there, uh, I thought it was great. It was it was uh, you know the, the way it was all set up, and you know it, it lends itself to a very specific thing. Right now, Holly mentioned that you've been in several Christmas movies. Uh, but when you read the script to this one, what, what was your first reaction? Is it was, first of all, was this one a little different than all the other ones you've been in? It, very different. Um, it, when I, when I first read it, I thought, uh, wow, this is, this is really, um, putting a couple of different elements together that we normally don't see. And uh, I really liked it. Now, you know, the story is you play the character of Danny and, you know, you're going through Daniel, I should say, you're going through 
Daniel's going through things that a lot of people are going through. You've lost your job. You're, you're, everything that could happen is happening to you. And you feel the world's caving in. And kind of, I think a lot of people are going to really relate with that, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I think I think especially today. I mean, we're we're going through a lot. There's there's strikes, and you know, not just the entertainment industry, but in other industries as well. And people are are losing their homes and their livelihoods. And uh, I I think uh, this will resonate with a lot of people. It'll be a broad spectrum of people that will resonate with Daniel. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, I resonate with it because like two and a half years ago. I lost my job, and it was, in fact, just after Christmas. It was in January, uh, so mm. I, I definitely can relate to that. Now, I didn't have an angel appear to me, unfortunately. I think that would have been kind of cool. Uh, but, you know, this film was a lot of fun. I watched the film, uh, and I was just laughing throughout it. It was, a, it was, it was really a lot of fun. Uh, but it does have a message, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, I think the, the message is, but God. You know, it's like no matter what we go through, if we lean on our faith, you know, God will see us through it. He's He's our everything. He's our healer. He's our savior. He's our our financier. You know, uh, and, and I think you know people will will be able to see that that no matter what you're going through, God is there. You know, it's just up to us to reach out to Him and say, Hey, uh, I need some help. You know, we, the Bible says we you have not because you ask not. Right. You know, Mark, you have a faith yourself, don't you? I mean, I mean, you said you post almost daily or a lot of times on your social media and you take a stand for it. How, first of all, I want to ask you about your faith, but also has that been a problem working in Hollywood? Because it doesn't seem like it is for you. No, no, not a problem. I, you know, God opens the doors that he wants you to walk through. Um, I had a conversation with Della Reese one time and she, she said, uh, you know, you never know why God gives you a particular job. She's, she said that... Um, he may be trying to reach someone and uh, he puts you in a place where he can he can reach them through you. And uh, I think that's probably been part of the part of the thing with me is that is that God puts me in places where uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily be and uh, he can do his will. Yeah. Now. You, of course, in this movie, uh, you co-starred with uh, uh, Lee. I, I, I don't yeah. want to mess up this name. Lee, Lee Allen. How do you say her Lee name, Allen. Holly? Lee, Lee Allen. Allen. It's how so hard, Isaac. Lee Allen. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> how was it working with her? <laughs> she oh, <is> wait. So, <laughs> okay. She is so funny. There, 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 were, there were moments where uh, I, I would ruin a take because I, I'd be laughing at her. She is hilarious to work with, and really a generous actor. And far as far as you know, actors have have this this sort of give and take, and and she's very generous in in the give part, and it really fun to work with her. I'm so looking forward to working with her again. Mark, what what was your like favorite scene? Because there were some serious scenes, there were some funny scenes, there were some you know the spiritual moments. Do you have a favorite one out of the movie that when people see it, they can look for it? I, I think uh, my favorite scene is probably there's a scene where Lee Allen has to get on the back of a donkey. And uh, this donkey was not cooperating. It, it was one of those situations where the donkey would be fine while his handler was standing there. Lee Allen is on his back. The guy hands me the reins of the donkey and I'm supposed to walk with the donkey and Lee Allen. We have this conversation and stop on our mark. And as soon as the guy would walk away, the donkey would like push his body against me. <laughs> like he didn't want to be in the scene with me. He didn't want me in the scene. And so uh, there's a picture with me with my elbow up against the donkey because he's pushing so hard against me. And the next day, my whole body hurt like I had a workout. <laughs> oh now, I had to whisper in his ear at one point, you know. <laughs> If these people weren't here, I'd sock you in the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, I, there, I, there I is another that. scene. There's another scene that I personally liked a lot. And uh, that was with you in the kitchen with your family. And, of course, the angel was there, but your family could not see the angel. To me, that was hilarious. How, how did you get through that scene? Well, it, well, first of all, Lee Allen is so funny in that mm -hmm. scene. And, and the scene is really a, a, a very sort of tense scene between the wife and Daniel. And uh, 
<laughs> Talia is so good as the wife. She's so good, um, really focused. And so I'm trying to play that part of the scene and play against Lee Allen. And it, it was really a fun scene. It was hard to get through because, because Lee Allen was just as hysterical, like I said. You know, I feel like this is a movie that um, it's good for Christmas and the holidays. But honestly, I think any time of the year, it reinforces faith. It encourages you. It cheers you up. And there's laughter with it, but also that, you know, resounding message that, like you said, but God, God is here. And I think in the coming days and years, months and years, we're going to need that, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I think we need him right now. I mean, with all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, you know, uh, we, we definitely need that. We, we need some levity in our lives. We need some prayer. We need some some faith, you know, and, and I think this movie sort of brings all that stuff in, in, into play. We've enjoyed having you on. It goes too quickly. We're going to have uh, Lee Allen on, too, in just a second, talking yes. to her about the movie. And we'll see what her favorite scene is and if she remembers the donkeys in this or the kitchen. <laughs> oh, oh, she'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You are a delight. Promise she'll come back on the next movie you do because we want to talk to you about it and let yes. you talk about it and tell you about it and have you back on. You were such a wonderful guest. And I feel like we've talked to you before for years, but we love you, Mark. I would love to be on again. Uh, thank you so much for having me, and, and love y'all, too. Yeah, absolutely. All Bye right, bless. folks, we'll be back uh, with more Faith on Films. Hi, I'm Mark Christopher Lawrence. I play Daniel in the movie Bringing Back Christmas, and you're watching Faith on Film. Well, we are excited to have Lee Allen Baker from Bringing Back Christmas. Now, many of you have probably seen her in the movie Family Camp or Christmas in the Pines. In fact, I think she's done like three or four Christmas films. She was also on series like Will and Grace and, and King of Queens and um, House, I think, Charm, I mean, she says her list is a long list, 103 different titles. She is an outspoken Christian in Hollywood and she's a fierce defender of family values. Lee Allen Baker, welcome. Hi, welcome, so nice to see you. Good to have you on. Okay, I've got to ask you first of all, Alan. Everyone wants to say Lee Ellen, Lee Ellen, Lee Ellen. Where did you get? Is is Alan a family name? Because it's a different spelling too. Yes. Yeah, so I was named after both of my uncles. One uncle is Roger Lee, and the other one is Richard Allen. So I was named Lee Allen after two men in my family. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying on the legacy, I guess. Oh, that's so funny. Well, okay. I First of all, since you filmed at Capernaum, when you got this script and then you got to Capernaum, what did you think? Were you not sure how it was going to work or what did you think of Capernaum Studios? Let me tell you how unsure I was of how it was going to work. It was the <laughs> hottest week on earth in Capernaum Studios. Like, I'm not even joking. That's not even like a an exaggeration. It literally was the hottest place on earth. So um, I thought I was doing all of my scenes on green screen, which means everybody else is outside sweating and that I would be in an air-conditioned studio. <laughs> and we got to go, like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm going to be outside. Okay, let's do this. But it was so much fun. I felt so bad for the crew because they were sweating so hard trying to keep us cool. I mean, ice packs on our wrists, ice packs on the back of our neck. Poor Mark. I don't know that I know any other man that sweats more than sweet Mark. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, take action. That more man looked like he was in a rainstorm. God love him. So it was the best of times. It was the hottest of times. I loved every single second of it. Capernaum Studios was so exciting that when, even though it was 117 degrees one day and I was in long pants, long sleeves and a veil thing, um, during breaks, instead of like going and hiding in the air conditioning, I would walk around and look at the grounds. It's just so beautiful and so historical and magical. And I, I just, like nothing we've ever really seen in the United States, right? I've never seen anything like that. So it was yeah. really fun to be there. <laughs> now, we, of course, interviewed Mark. Holly mentioned that. Uh, but he mentioned how much fun he had actually working with you. But more specifically, he mentioned a scene with a donkey. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? 
Yeah. Okay. First of all, if it was a donkey, we wouldn't have that big of a problem. It was a mule. And let me tell you, there's a reason that the phrase stubborn as a mule exists. I mean, I learned firsthand. If it had not been for Mark Christopher Lawrence, I would have gone off the edge of a cliff with that mule. Let me tell you. It had a personality of its own, did not want me on him. Um, Mark had to like hold his reins by the bit so that he didn't like turn and jerk. And I was trying to remember my lines and say them pleasantly while I'm about to be bucked off of this thing. It was just the zaniest, craziest, most fun memory. It was really great. Oh my gosh. You know, um, although bringing back Christmas, I think it's a bit campy and it's in it's but it also has a great message, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, so it definitely is campy. I mean, that's what I loved about it was the comedy aspect and, and particularly with Mark's character and like the modern day version of the story, the comedy of that. But then the fact that they brought some of that comedy into the historical biblical era was really interesting to me. And um, but the message, I mean, my goodness, at the end of the day, it is about our Lord and Savior being born. I mean, it is what Christmas is really about. It's bringing people back to what Christmas is truly about. Lee Allen, you know, you um, mentioned the the theme of Christmas, which is great. When we were talking to Mark, I also brought up the fact that, you know, we're in times right now that are not only uncertain, but there is a lot of things going on. People are out of work. The prices are higher with everything. People are stressed in life. I think this story kind of speaks to that as well, don't you? People have lost hope. Absolutely. I mean, that is the crucial drive of the modern element of this story is that when we're in this lifetime and we've lost hope, there are people who have been through worse than us and, and, I think it's pretty obvious in this story by telling what Mary and Joseph went through. But I think the big reminder for people is today we're so used to putting our hope and putting our identity in what people online say, what the chatter of this world is, what how many likes we get, how many follows or unfollows we get. And at the end of the day, your only true place of identity and inspiration and hope is is in God himself. Absolutely. Um, amen. Now, obviously the the, the uh, mule scene was probably not your favorite scene. Yeah. Do, do you have a favorite scene perhaps that uh, you really enjoyed doing? <laughs> well, I got to tell you right now, every single scene with Mark Christopher Lawrence was my favorite scene in this movie. I absolutely love him. We're like joined at the hip now. He's my brother, literally. We're siblings. Um, I think that the most magical scene in the movie is the scene at the manger. And I've even seen other movies that try to recreate this scene. And I haven't oh, yeah. that seen that one scene done as magically as it was here. I mean, every single animal was on their mm. best behavior. I mean, it was as someone who's worked with animals and kids, let me tell you, that is a rare thing to happen. But there was a piece that overcame the filming of that scene and every single oh, crew wow. member stood in awe watching it take place. It was wow. just a magical, magical moment. Wow. I love knowing that because, of course, being at Capernaum, I work at Capernaum, you know, being there. I, I love the manger, and, and it, when it's just not dressed and set dressed, people go, oh, yeah, this is a manger. But I'm glad that they're going to see it in your movie because I know it was well done. Ariel said she took pride in mm. lighting it and having it really look good. So I can't wait for people to see the movie and see how it looks, you know. Listen, and also, I have a spoiler alert. The star of the show is really Moses the camel. Uh, that guy was huge. And he sat there just eating his grass, and then, like, the chickens all roosted and fell asleep and – the goats and the sheeps got quiet. I mean, they yammered all day long during the shoot. And during the manger scene, there was a hush and a peace that came over every single animal. Even that mischievous mule was well behaved. I'm telling you. <laughs> I love knowing that. I'm going to go watch it again. I already said I'm going to watch it again to see that. You know, um, this is a, a great family film. I really feel like it's, it's yeah. something the whole family can watch for the holidays. But actually, actually, I feel like it's a film you can watch year round and enjoy, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. I think that, well, yeah, I mean, look, I watch the same Christmas movies over and over and over again. So it's so nice when I finally find a new one. Um, and this one is in particular brings you back again to the meaning of Christmas. And so I think it's a great one to kick off the holidays with every year. Yeah, absolutely. No. 
I do want to. I do want to say here, by the way, that um, my kids. I, I took them to see. We had a screening at our church, actually, and uh, my, I took uh, my kids. Which I say kids, they're forty one, thirty nine, or something. And they they don't watch Christian movies that much. I took them to see this one, and they actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Which I thought, wow, this is cool. And and I think part of it, by the way, is that they're familiar with you from yes. some of the other stuff that that you've done. So it, it was just nice seeing. A movie that was done that uh, that they actually, a Christian movie that they actually enjoyed. Well, I mean, that's the goal, isn't it? Like, I want to take the cringe yes. out of Christian movies. I want it, people to go to the theater and see the same standard and quality of film that they see in other movies. I don't want them to go and go, oh, it's a Christian movie. I want them to go, oh, wow, that was a really good movie. Yeah, they did. Absolutely. Well, I think they even told you, Isaac, they said it was funny. Like, it was. that was the reason they actually thought it was funny, you know? And they enjoyed that humor. Yeah, you know, Lee Ellen, are you, um, is there anything else you're working on right now? I know you moved out of Hollywood. You left Hollyweird and California. And, um, you know, are you finding now in the faith film, you know, there's, you've been in several that you're kind of easing into that world of faith films? Are you still doing anything? Yeah, I think it's taken some time for the producers of those movies to realize that I'm actually here and I'm, you know, ready to work. I think they kind of, I don't know if they believe that I was here or ready to work or, or what, but um, yeah, I finally started to meet the right people and um, be introduced to different production companies that are really leading the forefront in Christian films. And so now I have a few projects in the work. Oh, good. Oh, good. Awesome. So we'll be seeing more of you. Yes. Well, now, most everything that I've seen you in is, has, of course, been comedy, uh, which you're very, very good at, by the way. Is that your favorite uh, genre? Is that your favorite uh, type of, of scenes to do is, is comedic scenes? I'll tell you, it's the most difficult to do. I mean, every comedic actor can tell you this. I mean, there are lots of dramatic actors that can't do comedy to save their lives, but a lot of comedic actors that can do drama like it's walking in their sleep because um, comedy is really, it's like gymnastics. You're going to go for the triple lutz. Are you going to stick the landing, you know, or ice skating, right? Are you going to stick the landing or are you going to fall and glide all over the place? So um, it is, you have to be pretty well versed in it to do it. And I don't know, it's also one of those things that some people are just funny and some people just aren't. Um, so I do enjoy doing comedy. Obviously, it's fun on set, you know, um, but the movie that I'm working on right now is a three part trilogy and it's more like drama action adventure Ooh. than. Uh, wow. Wow. Can you give us a hint of what it is or can you not talk about it? Yeah, it's a movie called The Glitch, and I'm producing, co-writing, and starring in it. And uh, it's about a futuristic, uh, dystopian 15-minute city where the entire population is told that the air is too contaminated to breathe, and they have to be implanted in their upper arm with a power cell in order to survive. And just the um, a group of teens that kind of finally realize that everything they've been taught their whole lives is a lie. So it's a futuristic wow. dystopian community where even the Bible is contraband. It's really a Ooh. very strong look at what our world would be um, without Christ, without being God-centered, and instead being globalist-centered. Uh, well, and what it almost is going to be, because it almost yeah. feels like with the chip that they're talking about and planting and everything yeah. else, uh, I love it. That's a great idea and a great story, because it... It doesn't feel very far away, to be truthful with you. Yeah, I mean, like, really, it is, like, part sci-fi, part documentary, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Lee Allen, you're a joy. I thank you so much for spending time with us, and I wish you could come to Capernaum again, and when it's not so hot and it's nice and cool, and we can show you a fun time. <laughs> I would actually love that. <laughs> well, we're going to have to think of a reason to get you there. God bless you. Thank you so much for being with us here on Faith on Self. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lee Allen Baker from Bringing Back Christmas, and you're watching Faith on Film. Okay, Mark Christopher Lawrence and Lee <laughs> Allen Baker. Which, were they the most fun people to interview? Weren't they? They Allen were. Baker? They were. They're so much fun. And we've actually spent a little, uh, little time with her at an event, and she's a lot of fun, isn't she? He is. Remember, we were standing there talking. All of a sudden, someone gets on top of a table and goes, "Everybody, yep. go!" Now. She's a ringleader, isn't she? Oh, that she is. That she is. Yeah. She is unabashed, yeah. And not afraid to yeah. talk about her faith and who she is. Yep. So everybody, yeah. go watch that movie because it's a great, it's a great Christmas movie. Um, yeah. And you know, interestingly enough, Holly, 
uh, some of it, uh, a good portion of it, was filmed right there in your neck of the woods. Well, that's at, uh, what we were Capernaum. talking about. On the, that's what we were talking about on the show. The fact yeah. that they filmed those scenes there when she said it was hot in the summer and they filmed the bear and all that. You know, <laughs> yes, Capernaum Studios. So what we're doing, and like, again, we mentioned this earlier, mm -hmm. we're doing a tour, okay, called Bringing Back Christmas Tour. And it's at Capernaum Studios. Mm -hmm. And by the time you guys see this show, we'll have already probably done it. But the fun part about it is it is doing something at the studio that celebrates a movie that was made there. And and that's yeah. very rare that as people get to go to a tour and actually meet the cast, because Mark Christopher Lawrence is going to be there. Mark is going <laughs> to be signing autographs in the meet and greet, and they're going to have different people that were in the movie. Um, Lee Allen can't make it, but they're going to have um, Joseph and Mary and other people. And anyway, it's going to be fun. They're going to do a tour, and that's at Capram Studios what we try to do. We try to do this tour that we, you know, monthly, so people come come in and see where The Chosen was filmed, because it means a lot to people to see right. where season one was filmed. It just does. And then also, to have, to have this movie with a Christmas spirit, it's bringing Christmas to Capernaum, and I'm excited about that, because it's not only um, we're going to have things lit, and costumes are going to be there, I mean, I'm telling you, the producer, Ariel, is bringing in the costumes from the movie. Oh, nice. She's bringing the cast in. She's made a real effort. They're doing posters in the village. So when you're walking through the village, you'll see pictures of what they filmed at that house or that location. Oh, wow. So that you don't have to guess, well, what was filmed and where is it? You're going to know. You're going to go right to the manger. You're going to go to different um, places in the set. And so it, this is a great experience for kids to come see how a movie studio works and mm -hmm. runs. And for adults who've never been to a movie studio, I'm amazed how many people have never even heard of Capernaum or in this area even and been there yeah. in an actual movie studio. No. You know, I mean, it's, it's surprising me. So we are excited. It's Christmas Excellent. at Capernaum. We're going to have um, uh, we're going to have an amazing food truck, and it's going to have um, a lot of uh, popcorn to see the screening with, and other fun things. So I hope people will come. And again. If you missed this time, but you've heard us talk about Capernaum Studios, you've heard us talk about this, we have a tour every month. You can just call the studio and go online Christmas, uh, Christmas Capernaum <laughs> Studios, CapernaumStudios.com, and go on there, and it'll show you what events we have. It'll give you a phone number where you can, you know, click on to register to come to the events or whatever you need to do. Nice. So we're excited. In fact, in the spring, the spring, Easter, I know, but, hey, time goes pretty quick, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure does. We're gonna have we're going to have Crimson, and that's a whole Easter experience at Capernaum and a whole nother level of a live production mm -hmm. that you should actually come and be involved with. So I'm very proud to be part of Capernaum Studios and all that we're trying to do for people to give them that experience. Awesome. Now, Holly, are you ready for Christmas? Ah, uh, happy holidays. It's coming. <laughs> it's my slogan, and I'm ready. Happy holidays starting off right now. <laughs> I, it is my favorite time of the year, I have to admit. And I do go crazy with Christmas decorations. I actually started my all my outdoor lighting uh, in the oh, beginning okay. of October. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bye. we want to thank everyone for yes. joining us on this show. And um, thanks our guests so much. And we are excited to promote bringing back Christmas to maybe go see it. Absolutely. Bye-bye now. Write to us at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at faithonfilmtv. Also, go to our YouTube channel, Faith on Film TV, and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on our latest Faith on Film shows. 